and you'll be seeing just that today. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Phoenix Empire, my young and growing pet fire ant colony in a test tube that is on the cusp of a massive population explosion. The queen, whom we've named on this channel the Ember Empress, blankets herself in piles of her own brood as she continues to lay eggs non-stop, quietly amassing a powerful fire ant army. But for weeks, I've been dying to catch the Ember Empress in the actual act of laying an egg, but haven't been lucky. That was until this week. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. Now in all my years of ant keeping, I've only been able to catch a queen ant laying an egg twice. But never have I been able to capture and witness the event properly magnified in 4K video before. Now guys, I didn't know it yet, but the egg laying process for fire ant queens is truly unique and epic. Do keep on watching until the end to see what I mean. From the moment I first received this fledgling fire ant colony, Catching the intimate moment of the queen laying an egg was one of my top goals. Especially because a lot of you AC family commented saying you wanted to see the Ember Empress laying an egg. Now you would think that with a brood pile that grows bigger and bigger every day, this would be easy to film. Well, not so much, I found. There were a few challenges. First, no matter how much I waited, the queen would always wait for me to leave and all vibrations gone before she would lay an egg. Second, timing was of the essence. You see, the queen has egg-laying bouts, days when she's egg-laying and days when she's off. Third, she hates lights. And sadly, I needed to light the nest in order to film her egg-laying. Finally, she had to be at just the right angle and her constantly moving army of workers and hefty brood had to remain out of the way for me to properly catch the moment. This in particular drove me insane, which you'll be seeing in a bit. This week, it seemed the stars were aligned, AC family. We were bound to witness something truly magical. It was a typical day in the City of Ashes, Kingdom of the Phoenix Empire. Several workers were busy feasting on a dead mealworm in the fire forest, while others gathered water and collected liquid sugar. All these yummy goods were delivered to the repletes and aquapletes, the empire's living food and water caches, who then went on to feed the growing brood and our royal highness, the ember, is to produce those eggs. She does nothing else within the cryogenic chamber within her, so she can continue to lay fertilized eggs for the rest of her life. The colony's true first generation of workers, known as the Nanitics, are all reaching the end of their lives and dying out now. I can take a look at this shot, guys. The older fire ants are smaller and hang out together, cleaning themselves after a hunting spree outside, while the newer, younger fire ant generation, seen to the right, who simply ate better food growing up, are larger. In fact, I think I even saw a couple majors with larger than normal heads in the colony now. Cool, right? There's no denying the Phoenix Empire is prolific and quickly growing in population. But with the growing number of visual obstructions and more opportunities for the Ember Empress to be concealed, I felt this meant my dreams of filming the queen laying an egg were becoming less and less probable. AC family, that was until I saw this. The Ember Empress had buried her head like an ostrich into a dark spot of the cotton. Well, that's a great way to feel like you're in the dark. <laughs> but it was in that moment, I noticed the very tip of her gaster. At first I admired the cool pointed shape of it. But then, I began to notice that the point began to grow. It was the Ember Empress's stinger. How intriguing. I always wondered if fire ant queens had a stinger, as I've never been stung by one before. But I now had my answer. But as the stinger appeared to be coming out more and more, mixed with some weird contractions towards the tip of her gaster, 
my heart jumped into my throat. Oh my gosh, is she laying an egg? I wasn't sure, as I had no idea what signs to look for. Suddenly, she began to flex at her pedicle, bringing her gaster inward in a sort of fetal position, her sharp stinger out in full extension. Oh my gosh, she is totally laying an egg, I said to myself. For a few moments, I watched totally holding my breath as she stood still. Was she actually going to lay an egg? And it was in that moment that a worker had dropped a larva right in the worst place ever. The queen flexed her gaster once more, stinger stretched out, and wobbling now as if it was accommodating something coming through. And when I was able to turn the test tube just a little in order to move the larva out of the way, a worker had gone in and plucked the newly laid egg to carry to the egg pile. No! I totally missed it! The Ember Empress's stinger was now retracted back into her gaster, and I felt as though I had missed spotting a unicorn. That darn larva! Ugh. Anyway, the cool thing was, I now knew what signs to look out for. Fire Ant Queens on the verge of laying an egg extend out their stingers and have visible contractions. I also knew today was an egg laying day. Awesome! The question now was, when was she going to lay next? The Ember Empress had stuck her head into another dark spot, and I noticed that a worker was cleaning her caster. And I had to look twice. When the worker had moved out of the way, I spotted the Queen Stinger once again visible and coming out. No way! Could she be laying an egg again? Workers were bustling all around her. No, if she was about to lay an egg again, this was such a bad angle. Plus these workers would totally be blocking her again for sure. The stinger began to poke out more and more, coupled with the gaster contractions. The ants were such an obstruction. How I wished I were Ant-Man at that moment, so I could command the ants to get out of the flippin' way already. But AC family, within the crazy confusion of legs, brood, and bodies, Watch what I saw. Booyah! She laid an egg. Did you guys see it? It was a little obscured, but we saw it. And it hadn't even been a few seconds before a trusty worker came along, picked it up, and carried it to the official egg pile. How amazing! That was the very first time I've ever seen a fire ant queen lay an egg. The great thing I learned was that she laid this egg just 10 minutes after she laid the first egg. Did this mean that in 10 minutes, our Ember Empress would lay another? I wanted to try my luck and get a better shot if so. 10 minutes later, the queen lay still, her head once again in the dark. I watched the tip of her gaster religiously for any signs of a stinger or contractions. There was nothing. For a very long time, I just sat there, waiting and watching the Ember Empress. It was amazing to think that she was the seed that would birth an enormous colony of millions of ants over the many years of her life. Generations upon generations of fire ants will all have been born from her. It amazed me to think that my previous fire ant colony, named the Fire Nation, who grew large enough to consume whole animals, once started off as a humble and growing colony in a test tube like this. Mother Nature is truly miraculous and beautiful. An hour went by with no signs of a stinger. But just as I was about to pack up and conclude that her egg laying was done for the night, I saw what looked like some contractions and the point of a stinger. OMG! When you're ready to explore again, Ready to share your passion for the beautiful game and ready to reconnect with your loved ones. At Booking.com, we're ready too. Book your stay with the freedom to cancel. So I gently rotated the test tube and that was when the Ember Empress did something awesome. She pushed the brood that was blocking the shot away. She was allowing us to see this time. Ants were running all around, and I feared they'd get in the way again. But AC family, check out what I saw. And 
And just like that, an egg was laid and was the newest member added to the Phoenix Empire's growing family. Wasn't that amazing? I was happy that we could finally catch it and happy that all of you guys could see it too. The Ember Empress didn't lay another egg for the next hour, so I went to bed. But I felt grateful to have witnessed something that happens billions of times every day underground within the sacred darkness of ant nests all over the world. I this is called the self-pouring fluid. If you just barely start to pour it, it pulls the rest of it out of the glass with it. Even if you just barely get it up over the edge, the rest of the liquid comes out with it. Another cool property of this liquid is if you try to stir it, it climbs up the stick. So watch me spin this stick around in it and it climbs up it. The liquid is a polymer of polyethylene glycol. And the reason it has these properties is because it's such a long molecule. It has a molecular weight of over 1 million grams per mole. This is called the self-pouring fluid. If you just barely start to pour it, it pulls the rest of it out of the glass with it. Even if you just barely get it up over the edge, the rest of the liquid comes out with it. Another cool property of this liquid is if you try to st Fresh juicy memes. Every day 7pm British time. What I see. What airport security sees.